Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating our own black and white transition like this right here. And then we're going to be moving it uh, exporting it and bringing it in so that you can actually use it forever on as a transition. So you can see that since we've created this bar transition over here, it can now be just dropped in between two pieces of footage using set at, and we can actually use that as a transition. And that means it opens up a world of possibilities because we can do whatever we want over here, create whatever transition we want, and it'll create the transition uh, over here. And like I said, it's just a, a file now, and we can just use it as many times as we want. So let's get started by just exiting out of this and then starting by building our transition. So we want to go ahead and create ourselves a new sequence. Um, let's make it, yeah, that looks good right there. And so what we want to do is we want to create that sort of bar that was going up last time. So let's go up to edit our, uh, let's go file new, and then let's go with a mat, a color mat right here. Click OK. It's going to ask you for the color. Let's make it a white color like so. We're going to click OK. Uh, we can name this something like bars. And now let's go ahead and drag that color mat in. And you'll see that right now it's just solid white. There's nothing fancy about it. So let's click on it, go up into our effect controls, and then let's make a mask on it. What we want to do is we want to make a mask that fits the basically what, you know, whatever animation that we want to do. So in the last one, I created a bar. Uh, let's do the same thing except let's make it a wide bar this time. So let's make it this sort of, you know, wide right here. And then let's drag this down. If we hold the shift key, it'll make it so that it only goes in uh, sort of these increments so we can make a straight line. Let's drag it to the bottom. Do the exact same for this over here. Let's not rotate it. Drag it like so. And so now we have one bar right like so created. What we don't want to do is animate it right now as in um, using something like this down here. We want to actually go into our effects down here. We want to search for something called transform. So we're gonna grab transform and bring it onto here. And then now we want to adjust the position using transform, like so. So we wanna bring it all the way to the bottom before it comes onto the screen, or we can actually, let's go top to bottom this time. So we're going to bring it right before it goes to the top right like so. Click the position marker, move forward maybe 10 frames, and then bring it all the way down so that it fills up the entire screen. And the reason we're using transform is now we can add a little motion blur onto this uh, by unchecking this box and then going to shutter angle and bringing that up. And now you can see there's a little bit of motion blur, just makes it look a little bit more solid. So now we have our first bar done. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and copy this or copy and paste it really. So we want to duplicate it. Easiest way to do that is hold down the Alt key and just drag up to create another instance of it. You can also hit Control C, Control V and just make sure that this is selected where you want to drop that Control V. Once we have that, we're going to go ahead and move it just a few frames forward, maybe like four frames forward. Drop this one right here. And you'll see that it's, it looks exactly the same because it's basically just coming behind it. So what we're gonna do is go click on this Go all the way up to the position up here, not the transform position down here, because that's the animation. We have the animation locked in. Now we just need to move it over. So we're going to go up to the motion, and we're just going to drag the entire thing over. Make sure that the white lines align right there. And you'll notice that we have this black line right here. And to fix that, all we're going to do is we're just going to click on this. And we just need to drag it over just a little bit more just to make sure that there's no black line at all. So now we have the first one and the second one. I'm going to do the exact same thing, duplicate it, move it over maybe about four frames, and then go ahead and just drag this one over, grab the position, move it over so that they overlap a little bit, and then watch it, make sure that they are overlapped nicely here. One more time, maybe one or two more times here. Four, let's make, let's keep this going on the four thing right here. So one, two, three, four. Drag this one over. I'm just looking at the top right here drag this one over so that they overlap, comes down, and then the final one, drag it up, move it over four, drag it over, and we just need to make sure it covers the right over there. And now we have the, the entire transition working like so. So now we have this transition where the black comes to white, it's like sort of almost like paint rollers coming from the top down. So what we need to do now is we need to move to where it's all white, 
right click and mark an out position right like so then we're going to go up to file and then export and we're just going to render this out as a media so i'm going to go with h.264 just a standard render um and we'll just render this onto the desktop uh let's see what should we name it? we'll just name it like um transition two click ok export that out and then wait a couple seconds for it to render it should be really really quick and then now let's go ahead and re-import that in so we're going to go onto the desktop uh which is just in here um, desktop and then I'm just gonna click on it and drag it on over I'm just it was on my right screen so I'm gonna drag it on in here and then now we have our transition so we've got our transition created let's go ahead and create ourselves a new sequence now to actually apply our transition so let's go grab two pieces of footage here we can grab let's go with this one and this one right here and so now we have this transitioning over into these birds Find a point where we want it to transition, drag this one above like so. And now we have the point where it should transition is from here to here. We're going to click our transition two that we have just created and drop it in between. And let's line these up so that they are perfectly aligned with each other. And now we're going to click on our first piece of footage right here. We're going to go over into effects. We're going to go and search for set mat set mat click that drag it onto the top one and then now once we have it onto the top layer right here we're going to click on it go up to effect controls down to set mat we're going to change this to video two and you'll see that nothing is happening because we've rendered it out in black and white not with the alpha so the the, the white is actually white the black is actually black there's no like transparency in here so what we need to do is we just need to select luminance instead and now you'll see that the transition is starting. However, we need to just make sure that we, you know, untoggle the center because what we're seeing is the black. It's um, using the white as what it should transition from. However, the black on this one is overriding the bottom layer. So we just make this go invisible and now we can see the bottom layer. And now we have the transition going just like we want it to. It's the bottom then it transitions up to the top one. However, there's this problem right here at the very end of the transition. It's still looking top to bottom, um, and then the clip disappears. So there's now nothing for it to look into anymore. So it just defaults to what's left, which is the bottom one right here. So we need to just, there are two ways to do this. Either we can click the animate toggle keyframe uh, right here and switch this to invert mask. Uh, that's sort of like a, a little bit of a, just a way around if you if you toggle the invert mask it's always going to just select the top because now it's only black that's left over here meaning that everything should be from the top we don't we can do that if you want to do that you can just you know animate it all you got to do is go from here toggle it on move over one toggle on invert mask and the transition works perfectly fine another task that's maybe slightly easier to do and maybe a little bit less convoluted is we can just split the layer um let's clear the in and out right here we can just split the layer and go into the new layer on the right here and just delete set mask. So once the transform is done, we no longer need set mask on the, uh, the footage anymore because the mask, there's nothing that's going to be masked anymore. So once it's done, we no longer look beneath it. We just go back to a regular piece of footage and the transition is done. So that is how you do it. All you have to do is create some black and white um, transition. You can use bars, you can use triangles, you can use whatever shape animation that you want to make happen. As long as it's black and white, bring it on over here. Once you render it out, you can drop it in between your two pieces of footage and you have created your own transition just like so. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.